In today's video, we're gonna check out three different ways you can update your plugins in WordPress. First up is the easiest method, and that's using Divi Dash. If you're managing multiple websites, updating plugins can become tedious, and Divi Dash streamlines this process, letting you update all your sites in one place. You can manage unlimited websites with Divi Dash when you purchase Divi, which means if you already have Divi, you have access to Divi Dash. And if not, you have two different options here, either lifetime or yearly, and you could do Divi or Divi Pro. And we have a video that breaks down everything you need to know about all of your different options. But once you have that, we can head on over to our members area. From here, you'll see we'll have a tab called Dash, and this is how we access Divi Dash. From here, we need to click Connect Your First Site. Simply enter in your website URL, enter your WordPress username and password, and then you can decide if you want to auto install and activate products like Divi Theme, Bloom, and Monarch. With that situated, let's click Add Website, and there we go, we successfully added it and now we can press view website dashboard. Once set up, Divi Dash provides a dashboard where you can manage updates across all sites. We could actually bulk update plugins or update them individually by clicking on the site's name. We could also schedule automated updates to run at specific times, giving you full control over what gets updated and when. For example, I can hover over pretty links and update just that plugin, or I can select a few and update the ones selected, or I can just select to update everything. I'm gonna go ahead and select update everything. And just like that, everything is up to date. And you can actually check out the status here at the top right and see things happening in real time. Over here on the top right under themes and plugins is where we would enable auto updates if that's something we were interested in. I could select that, select the day and time, and we could select if we want it for all the themes and all the plugins or only specific ones. Beyond plugin updates, Divi Dash allows you to manage users, clean databases, delete spam comments, and more all in one place. And if you wanna learn more about Divi Dash, check out the blog post and the video linked down below in the description. Option number two is updating automatically in WordPress. WordPress makes it easy with built-in automatic updates. All we have to do is go to dashboard updates, and that's where we are right now. This is gonna show us which plugins need to be updated. If we have a whole list here, we could select all of them and update them all at once, or if we want, we could select just one and update that. You can also enable auto updates for plugins. All we have to do is go to the plugins page and for whichever plugin we're interested in, we could simply select enable auto updates. Now, if we do this, we don't have to worry in the future. However, be aware that auto updates might introduce compatibility issues. So it's wise to create backups using a plugin like Updraft Plus. Because who knows, this update might actually come with bugs and we don't like bugs. <laughs> the third option is to update manually. And here's the thing. Sometimes manual updates are necessary, especially for custom plugins or those that don't work well with auto updates. Now to manually update a plugin, we would go to the plugins page and select add new plugin. And then we would select upload plugin. And we would take that zip file that was provided and upload it there. Then WordPress will ask if you'd like to replace the current version and that's when you click replace. But at the end of the day, option number one is going to be your best friend, especially if you manage multiple websites and wanna see what needs to be updated at a quick glance. Now, if you have to, option number two is also a very solid option, but option number three is really a special use case and not something I recommend doing every time you need an update. Don't forget to learn more about Divi Dash down below in the description. With that said, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more like it. With that said, we'll see you in the next one.